morning, God's family. Baby girl says good morning to you. Right now, I'm brewing some pumpkin spice in my A cup. As soon as I saw it, you know I had to get it. And it's actually pretty cool because you have two steps. Step one is this, and then step two is this. And then a bird's gonna fly on top of my head. Good morning, baby girl. I'm glad you woke up. I got I'm glad you're feeling spicy. Put you down. Put you down. So we got the Roomba going around getting all the dust mites. All right, I have my Ariat boots on now. I love these boots, even though my laces are not tied. I still have the lavender over here. I haven't planted that yet. And now we are going to feed some quails. My quails love large things of lettuce, so I'm just going to be placing that in there. I also give them strawberries. Look at them go crazy. With the quails being fed, they will be moving into their new house very soon. I still want to make sure that it's 100% safe before I put them in there because I really don't want any of them to die. Now I'm going to clean out my horse's stalls. Flight is such a messy boy. I can always tell when he goes into Tupelo's stall because he just leaves poop everywhere. He's such a gelding. My mare is so clean and Flight is just like, he just poops everywhere. So we got two buckets full of waste from Tupi Stall, aka Flight. I picked the wrong day to wear these. Oh my gosh, I am sweating. Now we're gonna go check Flight Stall out and see how his stall looks. His stall looks a lot cleaner, which means Tupi was in here. And as you can see, I always know when they use the salt blocks because there's a drip of spit all the way down. Fun fact is that horses need salt. We got Molly, our barn cat, on top of the UTV. She likes to sleep up here. Yeah, do you like it up there, Petey? Hi, pretty kitty. Oh, it's a good stretch. Wow. Molly is our sweetheart, and George Mowney is our sweet man. I just did all the horses' stalls myself, and now I got their dinner ready. What I'm feeding here, these are called alfalfa cubes, and these are actually the mini cubes, so they need to be soaked for a long time. You can't just feed a horse um, a compact cube because they can choke, and it wouldn't be very good. As you can see, they're very hard because I just dropped them in the water. So literally, when I come back in the evening, these will be all absorbed and expanded, and this little cube will turn into a lot bigger of a fluff. And the reason I'm feeding these alfalfa cubes is to help Flight get a little bit extra calories. I don't think the grain itself is doing enough, so I'm just gonna start feeding him alfalfa. Um, next time we pick up hay, I'll get Timothy for a Tupelo. This is called Timothy hay, but I'm gonna get some alfalfa for Flight, just because it has a little bit higher of a caloric value. All right, I am literally sweating everywhere. Woo! Now it's time to do other things. All right guys, so I found this. This little watch, I don't know where it's from, but I've been trying to put it on the dogs and watch what happens with Callie when I try to put it on Callie. Hey, let me put it on you. What? He's so scared. Let me put it on you. Come here, come here, come here. Alright guys, so we have a bunch of fun stuff that I'm sorting into a different thing to donate to Goodwill. Yay! We're also finding all our wish stuff, so I have a wish video here. And then over there we have all our dog wish stuff, which is what you guys are gonna see today. We're gonna be testing out wish stuff on the dogs. This makes you younger. When you, when you do this, this makes you younger when you pop this. Oh my gosh. So, oh my god, I'm turning three. You look like a baby. Oh no. Your beard's disappearing. Ah. Oh my god. Let's see the baby girl. Ah. You wanna be younger? Yay. He says, I'm already a baby. Ah. See how the dogs like it. It's a hit. Oh. Hey, Callie. It's a hit. Oh. He's younger. Oh. 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 oh you just broke it. Oh. No. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. You know what you think about it? I think he says no. Be <laughs> careful, Callie. Your tail's gonna yeah. get bit. Oh, that looks great on Willie. That looks good. They should make those. <sighs> Watch collars. All right, baby girl, I don't think, yeah, please. Uh, this is not a perch. This is a microphone. 
Thank you. I would appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> Eat your banana. Eat your banana. <gasps> Here. Uh. So, what you are witnessing is uh. Amelia's get ready routine. Uh. Are you a real girl? All right, Sky Squad, so a while ago I ordered some stuff off Wish, and today I am going to be testing it out on my dog. So this is primarily stuff for my dog, so I'm gonna be testing weird products out on my dogs and seeing how they like it. I'm super excited. Baby girl is obviously super excited too. And yeah, let's do it. All right, Jay put lipstick all over his face, just to be funny, and now yeah, lipstick. it's not coming up. <laughs> What are you doing, dude? I didn't get it off. I didn't vlog it, but when I was doing my makeup, Jay was making the face, and after he made the face, he started like putting just like makeup all over his face, and then he rubbed it all in his skin, and now it won't come off. That's so funny. It's oil-based, so he's not gonna be able to get it off, but let's use his soap. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be testing out is this canine police harness. We're gonna put it on Franklin first. So, oh my gosh, Franklin is a police dog. Check that out, my police dog, Franklin. Oh my gosh, that looks really good. Now look, I have like a harness thing. If it was tighter, I'd be able to pull him up. Okay, let's try it on Kelly now. Okay, let's put this on you. Oh my gosh, Kelly, this looks so good. Hold on, we're not done. Kelly, wow, that looks so good. Wow! Franklin, don't be jealous. He's wearing it now. Typical brothers. All right, let's test out the other stuff we got. It's kind of weird you can order a police canine thing off Wish. I'm not sure when you would need that other than like a Halloween costume. So the next thing I ordered was this little jersey that says a D-Dog. So it's supposed to be like an Adidas jersey, but it's a D-Dog, all right? Copyright claims. So we're gonna put this on Willie. Willie, come here. Good boy. All right, we'll take his DP off. Oh my gosh, Blue looks so good on him. He looks like a little basketball player. That fits him perfect. Look at him. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. It looks so good. Good job, Willie, that looks great. So I have this Adidog hoodie right here, and for some reason I thought that it might have fit Franklin. But there's no way this is fitting any of my dogs. It's way too small. So I'm not even gonna try and put it on Franklin. I already know it's not gonna fit Willie, so I'll have to give it to Goodwill. Maybe another dog in Florida will need it during the winter time. Cause here it's extremely hot right now. Then I ordered this Lick Lick pad. So this is supposed to suction cup to a window, to a bathtub and it's supposed to occupy them while you're trying to do something to them. Okay, so it has kind of like a sticky side and then you're supposed to put the peanut butter on this. And then up here it says, my dog is awesome. I'll have to use this when they um, get baths. I'll let you guys know in a future video how this works out. All right, so I ordered a couple other things. I'm not sure where they went. This tennis ball needs a ball pump to blow it up, but it's a giant ball pump. I've actually seen these sold at Five Below, so if you want to get yours already inflated, just go to Five Below. And then I also got this, which is like a pad for their food, so when they eat, you just put their food on there. This was before I started feeding raw food, and I don't think I want to feed raw food on this, so maybe I'll use this for their water bowl or something. You don't want raw meat getting stuck in the crevices of this. That would be disgusting, so. That's all for the wish haul. All right, so here are the dogs testing out the peanut butter lick it thing. They like it. All right, Sky's family, so it's a little bit later in the day. We did some retail therapy, and we went to a bunch of different places. We went to Ross, Target, Home goods, and we got a bunch of Halloween decorations and fun stuff. So I will take you guys on a little haul through what we got. These are little hand towels, and I think they're so cute. I got this crow because I thought it would be a good friend for my pumpkin Burly. So if you guys didn't know, I rescued a sparrow and I called her Burly Girl. And ever since she became free, I have been collecting these because they remind me of her. My first little, my little Burlies. I'll show you guys later. My little burly collection. Jay has been going crazy for these lemonade mixes. 
He's on a new hype, so we got some of that. And then I got some Nair because I'm gonna Nair my face. I saw other YouTubers Nair their face and I was like, I wanna try Nairing my face. So, moving on to the Halloween decorations, we have, I love this, I love this style of art. This is a pumpkin, it's wooden, and it says boo at the bottom, and it has a cat, I love this, I think it's so much fun. And then I got this from Home Goods, and this is a candle holder, so the candles will light up, and then you'll see like a pumpkin shape, I thought that would be super cool too. And then we stopped at Ross, and I got a bunch of things, I got tweezers, cause I needed some tweezers. Um, I got some photo shoot outfits. Oh, I found another burly girl. This is a traveling burly girl. I like to think of my burly girl as traveling because she is traveling, traveling burly girl. So Jay picked out this outfit. It's like red checkers and then red pants. And then I got so many shirts at Ross I'm super excited about. They had some awesome oversized crop tops. Actually, this is one of them. It says Notorious from B.I.G. Then we got Let the Good Times Roll. I think that's super cute. I got this shirt that says Happy, and then I like that it had writing on the back. Do what you love, love what you do. Rolling Stones crop top, love that. I love camo shirts. I got another Notorious B.I.G. crop top, and I like this one because this is from the Sky's the Limit music video, and uh, you know my saying, Sky's the Limit, Nicole Sky's the Limit. Then I got another oversized crop top. It says baby girl. Baby girl's what I call my parrot. That's just her nickname. I have this awesome rainbow t-shirt. That's not a crop top. And then some comfortable hanging at the house like lounger pants. All right, tell me that wasn't like a good haul. I have never went to Ross and got that many things that I like. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my mini haul. Should I include these more in the future? Did you like watching them? Let me know in the comments down below as well. We also got this. This is one of my favorite decorations ever. I'm gonna put a burly girl on there. If you see this, it's like a little cart and it says potions and poisons and I think that it is so cute. It also fits perfectly up in that little shelf area. Jay has my other burly. Where's the other burly to that? I had two burlies. In there. So this is a burly I got last year. So here are my collection of burlies. I have one more burly but I have to find him. All right, let's go decorate my shelves with these burlies. All right, we're putting the burly up. The burly is the driver. Oh yeah, that looks so good. I like the crow too where he's at. Look it, that's super cute. Now we need the other burly. Franklin, what do you think? Does it look good? Kelly, does it look good? Do you like it? You look good on that chair. All right, now that that is done, let's feed the dogs and all the animals also the bird so now it is time for my dogs to eat this is raw meat and this is uh, from we feed raw jay will help me carry this why is there a nose on my door wow how beautiful is it outside all the bugs are chirping all right so this is callie's good boy so my dogs have been eating raw in total for about a month and they have been eating We Feed Raw's dog food for two weeks now. And so far, I absolutely love it. I think that it is awesome. Um, I know that Willie, Willie likes to chew bones. So he gets his meat all ground up, kind of like that. What they're eating right now is called a turkey patty. And Willie likes to steal the other dog's bones. <laughs> which is so funny. So yeah, maybe next time I'll get Willie some more bones instead of just Patty. He just loves to eat the other dog's food. It's so funny, he's like a total scavenger, even though his food's right over there. Anyway, since feeding raw, I have noticed such a huge difference in my dog's breath. It's actually really crazy to say that, but because they're chewing on all these bones, it's actually cleaning all the tartar off their teeth. And I said this in the beginning when I first started feeding raw, Willie's teeth were covered in tartar. Like his teeth, literally I could put my fingernail on his tooth and like pull off huge chunks of like disgusting dog food that's been stuck to his teeth. Now his teeth are really clean. His breath actually smells a lot better and that's crazy to say that about a chihuahua. If you guys have any small breed dogs, you know that their breath usually stinks so bad. So since their teeth are clean and they don't have tartar on their teeth, one, it stops them from having stinky breath, but two, it also stops the gums from getting swollen. 
and bacteria going into their gums and then they actually, some dogs can get infections and it can affect their livers and their kidneys. You can do more research on it. I'm not an absolute pro on this topic yet. I will be soon. But so far, I'm very happy with how my dogs are doing on the raw diet. At first, Franklin didn't even want to touch raw meat. Like, he was so mortified of it and now he loves it. That is all I'm gonna say about their meat. It is absolutely so pretty outside. Look at that, oh my god, it's so pretty. All right, so now that the dogs are fed, I will let Willie chew on that because Willie chews on his bones forever. Now it's time to feed baby girl, AKA Amelia. It's crazy how yellow my house looks. Hey, I see you. Were you chewing on a nose, baby bird? Do you watch your dinner, baby bird? You do? Okay. What about this? Do you like the nose? Do you want to eat a nose for dinner? All right, we'll feed you baby bird food. Come on. Let's go, baby bird. You know the drill. Are you going to come over here? Do you want to be a baby? Do you want more? You're not done? She's blushing. Are you blushing? Is that good stuff? Yeah.